welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Melanin Nostalgic Runner, and we are back again for another video um, regarding the U.S. Um, Olympic trials, track and field, and this is technically on the screen. It said it's day seven, but it's technically day five of the Olympic trials, and we're going to continue where we left off. Um, not a lot of finals took place. Um, this was kind of setting up the second week, so we really only had one final, well, two finals today. One was a field final and the other one was a track final. But everything else was just kind of set everything else up to get the events going. Um, so I don't, I can't imagine that this video is going to be very long, but without further ado, let's get into it. So I forgot to mention that if you are wanting to watch these videos um, and or go back to watching the Olympic trials, there are they are available on Peacock if you have Peacock. But if not, and you're okay with me just giving the results, here it is. Um, clearly, this is a spoiler alert. So, but with this day, it start off with the men's 800. The men's 800 was actually aired in its own separate. Um, video on Peacock if you want to check it out um, it wasn't it was without announcers so it is bare minimum and this is just pretty much the first heat to set everything up and the notable names that you're going to see with this is um, and you might have heard this name before Cobb Kessler he already is going to the Olympics um, with the um, 1500 but he's also doing the 800 and there's a pattern of this day you're going to see a lot of this um because the pretty much a lot of the athletes that um do like the 10,000 the 5,000 the 1500 or the 800 depending on what their strengths are when it comes to those events you might see them be trying to get into the Olympics in multiple events. They may or not, they may or may not actually do those events come the Olympics, but they still compete, obviously, just because it is something to consider that way. When the time comes, they can make up their mind which one they want to do. If they don't do both. And I mean it's an insurance policy, basically, right? Right. So um he already got in with the 1500 but he dropped down also to the 800 just in case. And he actually did his first round with his training partner, Bryce. Um, Bryce, wow, why am I blinking out right now? He did his round with Bryce Hopper. Yep, okay, got it. And um, it really literally looked like a training run with them too because they literally are training partners and they got in no problem but there are a lot of noble names that got in on this and i'll go a little bit more into how it goes for tomorrow's event because to the next day on friday is the semi-finals which then of course sets up the finals it happens on sunday so um yeah that's pretty much all that happened with that first event and real quick with the second event, the second event actually was a women's discus throw final. And really the notable name that we, um, that you may know is Valerie Alderman. She's a former dancer, not the exotic kind, the actual professional dancer, um, who became, who switched into this sport and she's pretty much been dominating the sport and she was the clear favorite to go and win and she did and she kind of you know destroyed the field um i think she actually almost set a world record or course like she almost set a record um she ended up throwing at 70 point um 73 <laughs> as far as length is concerned and that's ridiculous and the person's second place was at just 62 so yeah, she's kind of the best of the best at this moment when it comes to this sport. And um, she does give credit to her dancing background to be a huge part of it. Because also, unlike a lot of the athletes that do this event, she's not even necessarily built like those other athletes. But it has to do with her having so much strength in her legs as someone who was a dancer. So that's the other notable thing that happened um with the first two events and then i'll go into the next ones of you know everything that's happened next 
Next, the other events that took place um, this day was the men's high jump, the first rounds. Um, also then the next event that came up, which was pretty notable, was the men um, 110 meter hurdles, um, which is going to be more of the sprinting version of the hurdles. And this was the semifinals. Grant Holloway is still the clear favorite. Um, so he did get into the finals. And then also along with him getting into the finals, we also had Trey Cunningham. Um, he did not look that great. And um, I'm not sure how is he going to fare. Um, but yeah. Um, also, the other person that um, other people who got into the finals was... Um, we had, sorry, let me do, double check here. I want to get the names right. Uh, we also had um, Daniel Roberts who got in. He's been getting in every single team ever since he's been um, going to these trials. So since I think 2019, he's been in every world event that he's, um, you know, competed for. And then Freddie, um, Princerton and I hopefully I'm not hopefully I'm not butchering his name I'm pretty sure I'm butchering his last name what's notable and cool about his story is he's actually expecting his first child and so he is very motivated to get onto this team because as you know once you're in the Olympics in the track and field world this is this is one of the sports that does not pay the best but if you're an Olympian especially if you get a medal that will accelerate you getting sponsorship and also increase how much you make. And it, it, it can be life changing. It's still not going to be the same kind of life changing as like your, you know, basketball players or, you know, things like that. But it's a big deal, especially for people who are competing to do what they love. Um, so that's really what happened there. Those were the noble names that got into the finals. Others, of course, did too. But um, those are the names that we kind of want to look out for come Friday's events. And then for the women's um, 1500, um, similar to what I mentioned before when I was um, talking about the men's 800, we had some women that we already saw before that competed for this. Um, so L. St. Pierre was there. Um, also, we had um, Alyssa Cranny um, and... We also had a steeple. We also had someone who dropped from the 800 or who competed in the 800 final and actually was unfortunately impacted by a thing Mo's um, fall that was also at, in this event as well. So you're seeing a lot of people hopping back and forth. And then the other notable name who's also in this event is Nikki Hiltz. And they're the first non-binary athlete like openly non-binary athlete that's competing and they they're doing it they're doing big things so those are like the names who are in the first round we'll go more into detail when we see the semi-final which is you know the next day on friday and then next we have the women's 200 meters and this is also the first heat so we'll go more into it again on friday when we get, you know, more into that. But the noble names we're going to be seeing with this is Gabby Thomas, uh, Shakiri Richardson. Um, also, we have, um, I think, Tamira Brown. Um, and um, there's a couple other names that I don't want to mess up, but we'll get more into that on Friday when we go more into that. Um, so, well, now I'm Friday. Not Friday, the date of Friday, but Friday's event, so the next day. So I'll go more into that in the next video. Um, so yeah, that's where we are at so far, and then we'll go a little bit more into, um, I think there was five more events after that, and that did include the women's um, 3,000 um, meters um, steeplechase final. So we'll go more into that, because that was really the only final, but again, this isn't going to be a long video because this was pretty much the Thursday's events was to set up for the rest of the trials, um, the, the other events that hasn't started yet, basically. Okay, so then the next event that um, are the notable names that are competing, but this is just really the first round to kind of get them into the next um, points of it all. It's the women's long jump. And the notable names with this is going to be... Um, 
Tara Davis Wood um, Woodhall. She's kind of she's probably the, she's pretty much the face of this event at this moment. And then also Jasmine Moore. Jasmine Moore, that name is familiar, and she's actually already going to the Olympics because she won um, the women's triple jump. So she's doing the triple jump and the long jump. So that's what we have with that. Um, the other first round event that took place um, that are noble names was a men's 400 hurdles. Um, so that's Rai Benjamin, who's the clear favorite. And then we also have CJ Allen event. And we also have, I'm trying to think, is there anyone else in this event um, that's notable? I'm going to look real quick. Uh, oh, Trevor Bassett is the other person who's pretty notable. He is the bronze medalist for the World Championships on the 2022 World Championships. Um, right now, he's running unsponsored. So those are kind of the notable names to look out for. Um, for this first heat and all of them kind of got through no problems. So those are kind of what we're going to expect. And we're going to be seeing the semifinal the following day. Um, the other event that took place after that was the men's discus throw. And again, this was the first round. So it's just getting people in there. I unfortunately am not as familiar with this sport. So I'm not going to say who the favorite is. We'll cover this more when the finals occur, and I'll give you, like, the, you know, who won that. Uh, so then after that, the main event before the main event, um, we actually have the women's 400 hurdles. And this is the, the first heat, but one of the major names is in this. Um, and that is Sydney McLaughlin Labroni. She has just been constantly just crushing it. Records, world records after world records and the world records, she's breaking her own world records at this point. And so she's a clear favorite for this event and she made the heat look like it was nothing. Um, same thing with Anna um, Cockwell. She's, she's having an amazing year too, an amazing season. And then Shamir Little, we saw her earlier on with the flats. And the concern was, was the flat event going to cause issues with the falling event? You know, she was impatient, so she decided she was going to just do both. And she killed it, and she actually had a season's, um, season's best. So she seems like she's ready. Um, and then the other name to look out for who was also competed in this event was Damila Muhammad. She's not in her prime as much anymore but prior to because you know of course she's she's gotten older but um i would say there's some good names in here the only, the very clear favorite is sydney mclaughlin lebroni and then i also say anna cockwell was the other favorite and then from there it's a toss-up who could be third um right now shamira little looks like she does have the edge over dalil muhammad but Dalil Muhammad is a veteran in this sport, so we don't know yet until we see. So um, the semifinals, I believe, is on Saturday. So we'll see and we'll find out what happens there. Okay, so another event that took place also was we also had um, the men's 200 meters. And so we're seeing a lot of names that we saw before for the um, 100 meters. But we also, so we're seeing... Um, Noah Lyles, we also saw were um, Kung Fu Kenny, Kenny Benarek. Um, we also are seeing Christian Coleman. And Christian Coleman, um, he is not really a strong 200 a meter runner. But since he had that heartbreak of not getting in to the 100 meters, he's trying his luck for this event. Um, also, we have another person that is more of a 200 meter specialist that has a little bit of, um, he's been under raced and a lot of it does have to do with, um, he actually was suspended briefly because he had, um, a violation, um, a, a, like a violation of, um, having, um, something, you know, his, his basically he had a bad, um, bad bouts um they found um some type of steroid in him so he almost was not able to compete at all 
but they actually found out the corporate behind the steroids was bad meat, contaminated meat. And so they are letting him in. And this is Arian Niden. And this would have been a huge blow if Arian Niden was not able to compete um, for the Olympic trials because he is a future star. He's only 21 now. And so, yeah, he has a long um, career ahead of him. And this is his much stronger event. So um, he is another one of the favorites that um, competed for the first round for this. And then last but not least, um, similar to what I mentioned when I came to the men's um, 800, we have the men's 5,000 meters. So in this event, we are seeing um, Woody Kincaid, and we also already saw him for the 10,000. We're also seeing um, Cole Hawker. We saw him for the men's mile or um, um, 1,500 meters, as they call it in track and field. Um, we also saw or see um, Grant Fisher, who won the um, 10,000 meter. He's that here for this. And so this these are like kind of the favorites when it comes to the men's um, 5,000 meter race. Uh, let's see. I think there's one more person. Um, Clayton, I believe his name is Clayton. Um, one moment, Clayton. I want to get his name right. I want to get together. It might be a different event I'm thinking about. Oh, yeah, it is a different event I'm thinking about. So, yeah, though, these are the clear favorites when it comes to this event. Um, we also have um, Abdi Mule. Um, he's also another favorite for this event as well. So, those are the names that are really. Now, this was another first round when it comes to this. We'll get a little bit, a lot more into it as we, um, you know, go with the next round of this. And I think the next round is set to take place on Saturday. So, yeah. Okay, so then the main event of this, um, of day five slash day six so on the Thursday was the women's um, 3000 um, steeplechase. And the clear favorite who was going, who seemed like who would be, you know, going to the Olympics was Courtney Wayman. And um, she did win, but then the, I mean, well, she did get in, she didn't win, but she got in. Um, the person who actually beat her has been to the Olympics before. And I think the reason why they didn't have this person as a favor, and this is Bradley, Constantine. Um, they did not have her as a favorite because what's wild and crazy is six, I was sick, I think it was like six months ago, she couldn't walk. Like she, you know, had some, a very major, major surgery. She had to learn how to walk again. It was a whole entire thing. So from going from learning how to walk again to setting a meet record and winning the Olympic trials for the women's steeplechase, that's unreal. And also then the person in third place was Marissa Howard. Um, again, I'm not as familiar with her, um, but those are the three that's going to be representing the USA when it comes to the women's steeplechase. Now, this is a lot more clear and cut and dry versus the men's steeplechase. I think I mentioned before the men's steeplechase was not cut and dry because none of the men who won had the Olympic standard. All these women have the Olympic standard. Because what took place with this was, um, I'm, I'm not remember, I think it actually was Courtney, Way Courtney Wayman. If it wasn't her, it was someone else who was on this course. They actually set the pay, like they were leading it and it was a pretty fast race. They were not running this casually. So actually the top nine people um, got the Olympic standard just from this race alone. So, um, yeah. It was it was a good it was a good exciting um, main event of the evening, but that's pretty much all that took place today. Again, I told you this wasn't going to be that long of a, of a video. Um, Friday's events, or so the video that I have for tomorrow, will be a lot more longer because a lot more took place. And then Saturday's events. Today is Saturday as I'm recording this. So I'm going to be watching that soon, um, and we'll we'll get to that when we get to that and. Um, we'll go from there. Anyway, 
That does conclude the video. Please like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you get anything out of the content. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Melon Nostalgia Runner. And I will see you. Wow, I just, ooh, what just happened there? Let's try that again. I will see you next time. Bye. Forget you